If I were to ask you, what are the reasons for you not being consistent with your natural hair routines and your natural hair journey? Chances are you would give me a bunch of reasons that you are completely aware of. These are valid reasons. However, it's not the valid reasons or the known reasons that are stopping you from being consistent with your hair routines. It's those hidden reasons. It's those things that say they're, they're subconscious reasons for why you're not being consistent. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna ask you to make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get more videos like this from me. And make sure you watch this video to the end because here's the thing, you may know one, or two of those reasons. But if you don't know all of those reasons, that can be the difference between you being successful in seeing change or not. And let me first preface by saying, I've been at this natural hair thing for a really, really long time. And so these are things that have been revealed to me or things that I have noticed in others that basically are hidden reasons. They are hidden because you're not aware of them. They're not at the forefront of your thinking. So you're not going to be consistent with them because you are not aware. It's very important to know these reasons so that you can make some changes and be successful in your hair journey. The first hidden reason that you may be struggling with consistency in your hair routines is you don't actually think there's a problem. You may think that things are going on pretty fine. But then when you look back on your results, you realize that you're not reaching the goals that you've set for yourself. Like things are just not working out and you don't know why. I can totally attest to this because I have had a hair length goal of waist length for many, many, many years. And I did what I thought was the right things to do i didn't see a problem with my hair routine and i kept doing the same thing again and again and i know you know where i'm going with this doing the same thing again and again in the same way expecting different results is the definition of insanity so the reason i hadn't reached waist length i'm actually getting pretty close now but the reason i had, hadn't reached waist length wasn't because of like terminal length as some would say and terminal length is simply you reached a length and you can't go past that because that's your terminal length i don't believe in that what i do believe is that yes there may be some genetic factors at play but most people can grow their hair really really long with some tweaks and changes and solid hair routines the second reason you may be struggling with consistency in your hair routines is your expectations are unrealistic when your expectations are unrealistic it is that much more difficult to be intentional so you may set certain hair routines for yourself let's say you're like i'm going to wash my hair once a week Every Saturday at 8 p.m., I'm going to deep condition for two hours. But the reality of your lifestyle is that you don't have that much time to do that much deep conditioning. So you need to find routines that work for you and that are realistic for your life. Your hair routines are there to help you reach your hair goals. They are not supposed to be so rigid that there is no flexibility. Your routines need to be fluid so that when you realize that things are not working, you are adaptable and you are able to tweak things and change them. The third and final reason that you may be struggling with consistency with your hair routines is you don't actually believe, I mean, you actually may have a deep-seated belief that what you're doing is actually not really going to work for you. You're doing them because you know that so-and-so said you need to do this. And so-and-so said you needed to use this rice water and you needed to do henna and you needed to do, you know, um, these treatments that need to make your hair never stop growing. You see where I'm going with this, right? No. You don't do things because other people said, because everything does not work for everybody. And so you may be doing some things. And the reason why this is a hidden reason is because you are doing these things for your hair, but you don't actually really believe that they're going to work anyway. You don't realize that that disbelief is what's actually stunting you to reaching your goals. Yes, you're doing all the moisturizing and deep conditioning and all the hair things, but you're doing them without intention. You aren't actually evaluating how to do certain things that may work for your hair. Yes, maybe a certain type of hair routine may work for you, but you need to evaluate how to do it so that it works for you. And an example would be, let's just say deep conditioning because you know we all have to deep condition. But for example, let's say for you, deep conditioning may mean you need to leave a hot head on your head for 30 minutes and that's enough. 
But for me, I actually need to steam my hair before I apply my deep conditioner and then put on my hot head. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's ways to do the same thing, but in a different manner. So that's something you have to evaluate for yourself. Because if you keep doing the same thing, again, insanity, you're going to get the same results, which is not reaching your hair goal. So I wanted to share that I officially launched the brand new 2023 Master Your Hair Manual. This manual was a labor of love. I literally put this together thinking about every aspect of hair care down to supplementation. And so I want to give you a sneak peek into what it looks like. a little soft launch in December, but it is now official on Etsy. I'll leave a link and you can just take a look and see in detail more of what it entails. It is a 62 page ebook and I've actually made it so that it is editable. So previously when I soft launched it, you know, I did it at 50% off and it was just a printable document. Now the document is editable. So if you want to start to clip images, you can actually edit it and add your images. Thanks so much for your support and I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, stay blessed, stay faithful, and remember to make God your only source. Bye guys.